Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Haul. And this will be likely one of two hauls. I did go shopping in store yesterday and then I placed a few orders online later. So when I receive the rest of my orders, then I'll probably do a second haul because there were some items that were not available in store. I did post a shopping vlog of when I went in store yesterday when my ambassador access opened up. The sale will be open to the public on the 15th. I don't know when this video will go up, but if you haven't already shopped, check out the shopping vlog and check out my recommendations and wish list video for some of my other favorites. There were a lot of items that I recommend, but I didn't necessarily pick up because I actually probably own them two or three times over. So check those videos out. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you what I got in store. So I'm gonna start with beauty because that is probably my favorite category. And shockingly, even though some of my favorites are in the beauty category, I only actually purchased one item so far, and that is this Super Goop Glow Duo. This is the glow screen, it's SPF 40. I love this tinted moisturizer. I have a smaller travel size that I always carry around with me. And then I was excited to try this. It's the Glow Stick, and this is SPF 50. So this is a stick SPF, which is great because, especially if you're traveling, because it's a solid, this doesn't count towards your liquids in your carry-on. So I'm very excited to try this out. Super Goop has a few sets that I recommend. I own a lot of Super Goop, so I only got this one because I haven't tried this and I use this all the time. But there's like a pump one that I would recommend, especially if you have kids, because it's a great way to just keep it at your door and then slather it all over yourself and your kids uh, as you're leaving for the day. That is the, I think, one and only thing that I picked up. But I did want to share with you some of the, and I'll throw up screenshots. I did go in store and I was surprised to see that this set was available again. So I got this from Dior last year, I think around the holidays, but they re-released this set and it's only $110. You get this and then you get three of their Capture Total products. And the best part about this is this set is not part of the anniversary sale technically, which means it's available to the public. It's available to everyone to purchase right now. So I posted it on my Instagram. I posted it to my YouTube community page. Make sure you follow me on both because I'll always post some great deals, but this is available right now. You don't have to be an icon or ambassador or influencer status. You can pick this up. This is an old one. I love this little bag. I have worn this to weddings. I've worn this to parties and I get so many compliments on my Dior bag, but it's a makeup pouch, guys. So this is $110. You get this and then you get three Capture Total products. I don't even know what they are. Another Dior set was this. And <laughs> you can tell how much I like bags because I don't even go by the beauty products. I go by like the containers that they come with. So there was another Capture Total Dior fabric. I call this the pink fabric pouch. This is it. And this set also was about $110 and it also comes with Capture Total products. But this is a great set to get. This is a close up of this and it's a really nice quality. It's very soft, like a velour, but it's a little kind of glistening material. And then even the zipper pull has that Dior star. So $110, I will link everything below. This set also was like $110. And then there was a Dior Prestige set. That was the priciest of the three. I think that was like $267, but you get this really cool case. And again, you know, Dior likes to recycle their packaging, which is fine, but I really like this set. I got this either last Christmas or the year before. It's this really nice gold case that zips around. Here is the zipper pull on that. It even says Dior on there. And then inside it has this little Dior cutout. And then whatever the products were, it's part of their prestige line, which is why it's a little more expensive. And then you can just pull this out and use it as a jewelry box or a travel makeup case. I love this Dior prestige set, $267 from the anniversary sale. Okay, and then moving on to bags, it is no surprise. I got another of the Longchamp Le Pliage. This is the expandable version. I have this in multiple colors. I have this in black and navy and gray, and I got it in this really pretty pebble color this year. This normally retails for $195 and it's on sale for $149.99 during the sale. But I just love this color, very neutral. This will go with the rest of my kind of rolling luggage that I own. So I got the tote bag. It's available in a ton of colors this year, which is really great. I was also eyeing, there was a blue color that I really liked, but I, opted for this neutral pebble. And then I also got this matching little toiletries case. It's kind of like a dop kit. It has this top handle here. The zipper opens up and it's very roomy inside, unlined, and there's no pockets. This actually would be great to keep maybe makeup brushes. If you have, you know, pencils, lip products, I like to organize my makeup. It's got the Longchamp little zipper there. This retails usually for 115, which is kind of crazy for a 
toiletry case and then it's on sale for 59 during the anniversary sale so got the longchamp set in the pebble color i definitely recommend getting this get it in multiple colors it's great this is especially great for travel i talk about this in all my travel videos because this packs totally flat in your luggage and then if you are in need for an additional carry-on bag or something or just a purse while you are at your destination you have a little tote with you and it zips all the way out here so it's really big but again these two connect and you can shorten it for a smaller purse love this long jump and then another bag that i was really excited about during the sale is this coach i'm going to call it the coach cassie i don't know if they officially call it the coach cassie it's not listed as the cassie but it's exactly the same size shape i have done videos comparing this to the LV Pochette Matisse. This is a great lower price alternative to the LV Pochette Matisse, which is like 20, I think it's like 2100 now. It's so crazy how expensive LV is now. This retails usually for 350 and it's on sale during the anniversary sale for 199. This also comes in black too, which if you don't own a similar bag, I would get it in black. I was told that the black one is flying off the shelves, but I liked this two-tone beige color. It's got the cell phone packet on the back. I like that the handle is a darker color, so it doesn't stain or anything here's the inside nice two-tone love that saddle brown color look at that oh so pretty this opens up so wide i love this style i have this in multiple colors my favorite is i have the oxblood which is a dark burgundy which is why i didn't get the black they just call it like the coach crossbody bag I don't know why. Another exciting addition to the bags category at the anniversary sale is base. For the first time, Nordstrom is including base travel in their Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is an older limited edition color that I own in the fuchsia, but they have this cosmetic case. They have the backpack, they have the weekender bag, and they have the rolling carry-on luggage. All four items are included in the sale this year in two colors. One is a very pretty Sakura uh, light pink, and then they have the matcha green. They have the items at the store. I have videos of it so check out my shopping vlog if you want to see and also i love base i'm a huge fan of base i have an entire playlist dedicated to my reviews of base luggage i own so many things from this brand it's such a great travel brand it's a great accessories brand just to organize your life even if you're in traveling i own a few of the base cosmetic cases already i have it in this color i have it in black and i'm pretty sure i have it in the beige and i use it all for different purposes so when i travel i will bring this one with me for makeup and stuff the black one i use to organize all my like like nail polishes and stuff and then the beige one i use to organize other like mani petty tools so i like to use it to organize my stuff inside my home but it's such a great travel case i didn't pick it up this year because i already own it but definitely get it it comes with a mirror inside it comes with this detachable brushes pouch it's just such a great travel cosmetic case i can't speak highly enough about it their backpack is also such a great design for travel i've used it for the office i've used it as a computer bag i've used it as a diaper bag it's just my favorite backpack i did not get it only because again i literally already own it in both the black and the beige i love their luggage and their weekender i just love everything i personally didn't pick up another one this year because i own it at least twice over but if you can get your hands on the base if it has not sold out yet definitely pick it up during the anniversary sale. Okay, continuing with accessories, I got two pairs of earrings and it's just from the Nordstrom, like their house brand. I got a pair of their little huggy gold hoop earrings. It's this crystal, it's silver, and it's, it's just their CZ hoop earrings, like huggies. And then I got a pair of studs. This is, by the way, this is idol jewelry, the evil eye, and then this uh, evil eye necklace. But I got a second pair of studs for my little second ear piercing right there the nordstrom brand offers studs i think from a quarter carat all the way up to eight carat total weight so it's like very big but i, I just wanted some little guy i forget the price it's like something like usually 30 something and was on sale for like 20 something i love the nordstrom brand jewelry because even though it is just you know fashion jewelry it doesn't tarnish i've had some of my nordstrom jewelry for years and it still looks great it's sparkling it looks like new it doesn't tarnish the cz doesn't get cloudy and i definitely recommend if you're looking for a pair of affordable earrings and then i also got a pair of barefoot dreams socks i love 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 their blankets this year check out my shopping vlog i show all the different colors that are available this year i did not pick up a blanket again this year because i seriously have three of their blankets <laughs> i have so many of their blankets i think their robe is great but it's just so long for me if they had a shorter one maybe i would get that but i think only the long robe is on sale this year but i did get a pair of their socks and this usually is 30 dollars, and it's on sale for 20 comes in white and then in this like very light 
eggshell color. So if you don't already own a Barefoot Dreams blanket, it's just oh, so soft. It's all the same material. So their blankets, their socks, their robes, definitely great buys for the sale. Okay, for shoes, I got three pairs of shoes. I was going to get a pair of the Nike Phantom sneakers this year because I loved their Phantom sneakers last year. It's the ones that don't have laces, but I passed on it because I really don't need another pair of sneakers. The ones that I have from last year are in excellent condition still. And I work out a lot. So, you know, they last so long. So I really didn't need another pair of sneakers, but if you are in need of a new pair of sneakers, check out the Nike Phantom. Those are my favorite. But I did get a pair of these BP Mules. This is called the Callum Mule and it's in the shade beige taupe. I did kind of have to size, I didn't have to, but I just wanted more room. I got it in a half size up. So I usually wear 36 and I got this in a 36 and a half. It's a really pretty beige taupey color. It's like this soft kind of a suede. And then same thing in the toe. I like this because it's very neutral. I wish they had kind of a darker tan color for me that would match, match my skin tone, but it's okay. It's got this really pretty block heel. In my shopping vlog, this is what I'm usually wearing when I'm trying on a lot of my outfits. Okay, the prices aren't on here. I think this is usually something like $70 and it was on sale for 49. I don't remember. Check out the links below. I like that it doesn't have an ankle strap because then I don't feel constrained. I don't know. <laughs> I like to kick my shoes off really fast when, like when I get home, we keep our shoes by the door and then I change into slippers, like house slippers. So I just like to kick my shoes off as fast as possible without having to sit down and untie straps. So BP Callum Mules. And then I also try this in my shopping vlog. This is a pair of open edit shoes and this is called maybe Kyla. It's in the tan mocha, which is such a beautiful shade. I've been in the sun so much this summer, these past few weeks, I've been on vacation and to the beach and stuff. And so my legs got super tan and it just looks so pretty on the foot. It actually, it looks kind of strange on here. I think it doesn't look like super cute, but when you're wearing it, it looks so pretty. It's very flattering. I like that this part wraps around my sides of my feet. And then it's just a really pretty point here. And then this hardware is really cool. It looks like this kind of antique rusty, yellow gold like brass it's so pretty this will go with so many things and this also came in a few different colors and this was pretty affordable it was like 34 35 dollars i think the uh, open edit brand is apparently it's nordstrom's house brand so very affordable shoes okay and then i got a pair of knee-high boots for the winter or fall these are the trisara knee-high boots i got it in black i was eyeing the beige but I'm actually glad they had it in the black because I think it looks really cool. It'll be a great shoe to transition into the fall and into the winter. But my favorite part about this are the heels. So I already own a few black knee-high boots, but they're either wedge heels or they're skinny stiletto heels or they're very chunky kind of block heels. So I love that this has that tapered heel. It reminds me of Gianvito Rossi heels and has the same shape. It's very pretty. So it's a little more stable. If you look at it from behind, it's still narrow because the width is along the side profile. So I just think that is so cool. This is the Tresara pumps. I forget what the sale price was. It retails for something like 180, so almost close to 200. And then it was on sale for maybe 140, 150. I tried this on with a wrap dress in my shopping vlog. And this is by Vince Camuto. Okay, and then for clothes, the first top I got is this top right here. This is by Treasure and Bond. It is a flannel. It is so soft, it's so nice. It is very similar to the Rails flannel that I also recommended in my recommendations video. And I was also wearing a Rails flannel top in my recommendations video. The Rails tops are very nice and they're so soft and comfy, but they're like $110. I mean, that's pricey for a flannel. This is so similar. It's not as soft, but I mean, it's still very comfortable. Like it's not itchy or anything. And this is the Treasure and Bond version is only $35. So I just, I had to get it. I love the color. It's like this dark navy blue and white and gray. So pretty, I love this top. And then I'll just go buy my stack of <laughs> clothes here. My Nordstrom sales associate Justin was able to keep everything on the hangers for me. I got a bunch of active wear. This is by Zella. It is the pocket high waist bike shorts. I love these shorts. I got this last year and I wear it to death. I wear it all the time. I wear this working out. I wear this just casually. I wear this when I travel because you know this way you're kind of comfortable but it's not super short and it's very like it sucks you in at the top and you can also keep your phone on the side if you need to just quickly put your phone away for a second. I love being able to have my phone on me all the time. <laughs> I wear this when I'm going around cleaning my house because I'll listen to podcasts. You know, I have a phone holder from Dior, 
But if I just don't want to wear anything on my neck, I just stick my phone in here and then I can still play my music or podcast. So yeah, the Zella Pocket Bike Shorts, I highly recommend this. It's normally 49 and then I think, I don't know what the sale price is, like 30 or something. They comes in black and it comes in blue and I am debating whether to also get the blue before the sale ends. Okay, next up in activewear, I got this set from Aloe Yoga. It is this kind of a sports bra top. It's so cute. It looks like a crop top if you wear it with you know, you can wear this with jeans or whatever, but if you want to wear it to work out, this actually looks really cute with the bike shorts. Very fitted, but it's not uncomfortable and it still sucks you in and you can work out and not have everything jiggling all over the place. <laughs> and then to match, I also got the sweatpants. It's these ribbed sweatpants and this pullover. I got both of these in the size small. Everything I got was in the size small. This color is so pretty. It's called Cherry Cola and it's like this brown burgundy-ish color. So very pretty color. I cannot wait to wear this and it's very soft. Next, I have a pair of BP cargo pants. I don't own black pants, I realize, and I realize I needed black pants. <laughs> These aren't dressy pants, but if I'm just doing something with the kids and I wanna be active and not maybe wear sweatpants that are or joggers that are too thin, I was like, okay, I need pants. So I got this and it actually fits really well. It has an elastic on the side, so it's very fitted and it has pockets and then it has a drawstring on the bottom so you don't need to hem anything. And it's only $35. This normally is $49, which is pretty affordable already. And on sale for 35. I tried on two pairs of jeans and I ended up with this one. It's called the Wedgie Straight from Levi's. I love this color and I opted for this one versus the Levi 501 because this one has a closed seam. Sometimes you don't want to wear like frayed jeans. You want to look a little more put together. So I got this and because it's wedgie straight, it means it's very fitted. So it actually is very flattering, especially on the back. And I love the color. And then for my kids, I got this really cute top. It just says off the wall and it has a dinosaur eating pizza. So I got it in two sizes in store for my two younger kids. And then I ordered the third size for my oldest online. And I just love to get at least one matching set for them from the Nordstrom sale. You guys in sync. This shirt sold out. I cannot believe how fast it sold out. It sold out the very first day of the Ambassador Access. It is the NSYNC No Strings Attached cover art from their album. If you're a millennial, you know the saga of the Battle of the Boy Bands. I wasn't even a huge fan of NSYNC, but I just thought it was such a throwback. Guys, this is vintage now, okay? If you're a millennial, this is vintage music. This is the Charles Henry Dolman Sleeve Wrap Dress. It's so flattering and it's so flowy, but just beautiful on. You can wear this with sandals in the summer. You can warm it up in the fall with boots. Can't wait to wear this, very flattering. Check it out in my shopping vlog. I tried on and it's so pretty especially with the knee-high boots. This jumpsuit by BB Dakota and Steve Madden, I guess. I think it's called the crop jumpsuit, which means it is the perfect length for me. It's so soft, it's form-fitting. It's got like a little ruched waist and then a tie, like a sash, but it's so pretty on. I can't wait to wear this. This can be dressed up or down. You can wear it with sneakers and be casual or wear heels and go out at night. Where am I going? I don't know, but I'm gonna be in my jumpsuit when I go out. And then the final item is this sweater from Treasure and Bond. I got it in the size small and I probably could have sized down. It's very, it's, it's like an oversized fit, but I love the neckline. It's so pretty, but it's not like too revealing. It's a V-neck. It comes in other colors. They had the gray in store and online they had in red, which is very pretty. I actually might order it in red, but um, this is it. Very pretty. Can't wait to wear this. This is great for layering because it's very thin. So you can wear it in the summer if it gets chilly and then you can wear it in winter when it gets nice and warm. So that is everything that I picked up in store during the first day of my Nordstrom anniversary sale access. I will definitely follow up with a second haul once all my online orders have come in and I will probably still be shopping the sale because they do add more items throughout the sale. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me here on YouTube. I will post notifications whenever something amazing has come in. Yeah, let me know what you guys are shopping, what you are most looking forward to, what you wanted and has already sold out. It's just amazing how fast some of the best sellers go. I hope you guys get everything you want during the sale. Let me know what you end up picking up and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.